Hi, my name is Rick. I'm going to make this short video on the results I received from rounding a, a short wave uh, long wire antenna through a 9 to 1 bollum that I got from Bob at Bob's America. Uh, in the background, you'll hear WWV. Uh, there's a switch on the radio, it's a, a crane, uh, a portable short wave. That's what I have. And I'm on the uh, long wire now. And you can hear WWV in the background. I'm going to throw the switch to go to the uh, uh, built in uh, uh, telescopic antenna, and you'll notice the difference. I'll show you this in a moment. You notice the increase in the static level. Uh, I've done this uh, video. This is a, a supplement uh, to one I made the other day uh, because the, the results are uh, different. The static the other day where I live was a lot greater than it is today. Uh, 48 minutes. It's uh, unbelievable what Johnny will do. So here's the radio. See there, there's my uh, little crane shortwave radio with the uh, uh, telescopic antenna tuned to WWV. And there's a little switch right here on the side, right here, that uh, says uh, internal, external. And right now we're on uh, external. Here's the uh, long wire antenna coming in. Now I'll go to, uh, I'll throw this up and go to the telescopic antenna. And you'll notice the increase in the noise level. That's me touching the uh, antenna. Uh, back now to the external. The uh, uh, my long wire antenna is uh, 70 feet of wire strung, three feet off the ground in the crawl space under a rental home. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. I live in a uh, rental, and I'm not allowed to put uh, external antennas out. The uh, I've got about 10 feet of coax uh, uh, slid through a hole in the floor. Uh, it feeds uh, to the bottom. The bottom is uh, grounded to a cold water pipe with maybe a, a foot of wire. I followed the instructions that came with it. Uh, this is, is where I got it. Uh, you can see it is bobsamerica.com SWL. Uh, I've learned a lot about shortwave listening from uh, Bob. I'll show this again. Uh, he's got a lot of good stuff on there. I got my ball in from him, and it really works. Uh, this is a demo on how well it works. So, you know, if, if you have a portable shortwave radio like I do, and uh, there again, there's the uh, uh, internal antenna. Here's the external. Sometimes there's not much difference, but now watch this. This is WWV again, but now I'm on 10 instead of 15. WWV is there. Here's the uh, internal antenna. I'm, I'm sorry, I can't listen to that. But, uh, <laughs> it's just uh, too much static. Uh, it's out there. I can I can pick up the uh, ticking of the clock. We'll give it a minute and see if it uh, cycles through. Uh, but if you're you're in a restricted place, there's uh, no reason why you can't improve your reception with a, a long wire antenna. I did this basically the same thing without the bottom, but had the wire strung throughout the house. And I still had a high level of noise. Did you hear that? That was it uh, uh, in the background. See if, it, uh, if it'll pick up. Okay. It, it, the signal's fading in and out. Back to WWV on 15. Again, internal, external. Internal. It does. Does. Uh, I'm gonna turn this back down. It does, it does pick out a lot of the noise uh, grounding the antenna. Like I said, follow the instructions. Uh, and this is what I get with it. I'm, 
I'm, I'm uh, enjoying uh, uh, listening to shortwave. Uh, At the dome, 17 hours, 52 minutes. There it is. Universal time. Speaks for itself. Thanks for watching.